morning. As you can tell from my disheveled look, I've been on the bike for a while. This is actually the last day of a multi-day trip that I take every fall. This year was supposed to be into some very high altitude remote wilderness locations. However, due to heavy smoke, I opted to change my route along the way. I still tried to go into some areas that people don't cycle that often and take you along. So thanks again for joining in. Remember to like, subscribe, click on those notifications so you find out the next one's coming up and let's get at her. Hey there guys, off on another adventure, heading over to the mainland, uh, BC, and then going for a 17 day ride. So come along, let's have some fun, show you some new places. you guys can hear me okay. I'm actually on the ferry from Nanaimo to the mainland of British Columbia for those of you who don't know the area and we'll be riding up through Squamish and Whistler in the next couple of days. there so we're just climbing out of Horseshoe Bay and uh, today's gonna be a bit of a long day but I think I'm gonna have a bit of a shock to my legs for the first day so enjoy the ride Hey Ryan, this one's for you. No whammies, no flatties, no crashies. Check this out.
also proves that you have to be very flexible in that when you're having a bike trip because I had a little bit of bike problems today so I wasn't able to get to my destination that I kind of planned so I am holed up in Squamish for the evening and tomorrow I'll just have a good ride wake up early and uh, get going so for now I'm gonna set up my tent and then I'm gonna go have dinner Guy at the campground told me about a brand new place that opened up called the Cork and Craft Tap House. Sounds pretty good. It's just up by Lennon Drugs. Let's go check it out. Well, dinner was pretty awesome. Local craft beer, rockfish tacos, and a PB&J homemade brownie. Can't get better than this on a first day. After a gorgeous sunrise on the Stuamis Chief, it was up the bike path and a quick stop at the Ride Hub Mountain Bike Shop for some coffee and treats. Quick little chat with the guys in the shop. Off it is, up the trail and up to Whistler. So I used to work in this valley about 35 years ago, 33 years ago, and it's been 25 years since I've come here. I forgot how many hills there were. That's a morning climb. Later.
I came up into Whistler, I crossed paths with Frank and Sylvia from East Capades and Paul and Jan from Two Love Cycling. The four of them were just finishing off a huge bikepacking trip up Vancouver Island through Bella Coola and down through the Chilcotins. We had a little bit of time to sit and chat, but I had to get rolling and get moving to my campground. So it was just a quick ride through Whistler and out to Nairn Falls. There. Just arrived at Naren Falls campground after a long day in the heat, about 85k and 30 plus degrees centigrade. First things first, get changed, get out of my shoes, set up my hammock, and chill out for the rest of the night. Thanks for watching right to the end. It always means a lot to me. And remember to like, subscribe, and click those notifications so you can find out when the next one pops up. So until next time, be safe and have fun. If you want to find out what I take on most of my trips, check out this. If you want to find out how I made my frame bag, check out this.